Hello internet people, in this video I'll explain how to easily create a 301 redirect in WordPress by using a plugin called Redirection. I know, this is how I felt about the name. Disappointed! Tape sweat punch. Alright, so when are redirects useful? In most cases you will need a redirect when you've changed the URL of a page or a post or if you deleted the page, but for example, it still shows up in Google. When switching domains, it's crucial that you set up a 301 redirection, which basically tells Google that you've moved permanently the content from one URL to another. Arnie, can you summarize redirection? You are not you, you are me. So let's get started. I'm here in my WordPress dashboard and so Let's install the plugin for redirection and that's done by going to plugins, add new. Here, just type in redirect. And once it's ready, you have this plugin that comes first. Just, it's called just redirection. Let's install that one and then activate it. Now it'll take you to the plugins main page. You can see there's a lot of plugins here and just scroll down to R, redirection and go to settings. Okay, make it quick because my horse is getting tired. All right, and on this page, it's just information about this plugin. You can scroll and read through this. Uh, there's some features that you might also find useful like the monitoring of 404 errors, but for this tutorial, just uh, start setup. I'm not going to monitor permalink changes or keep a log of redirects and 404 errors. I'm just going to continue in here. So now at this point, the tool will be checking your REST API and REST API is just a way for the plugin to retrieve some data from WordPress. And right now it's checking if anything is blocking the plugin to retrieve the data. And if you have all the green check marks, just finish the setup and it will install some database settings. Once it's done, just click on finished. So here uh, we're actually, this is a new menu item under tools, redirection. And you can see it's opened the options tab by default. There's some things you can set up, but for this, just go to redirects. And as you can see, there's nothing since I've just installed this plugin. So let's add a new. So I'm now in my blog, but it has this dash two and I want to redirect it to a just blog without the number two. So I'll grab this URL and paste it in the source URL. Then the target URL will be blog without the number two. You can also create groups. Uh, this for me is just a redirection, add redirection. Now it's saving. Now there's a new line in the table. This will redirect from this to this URL. There's actually more options if you click on this wheel icon. Here you will have a bunch of settings, but in 99% of the cases, you can just use the default one. So I'm not going to go through these because they will just confuse you and you end up like this fella. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you So let's see if it works. Just go to blog and click on this one. You see here I still have two, but once the page is refreshed, the browser tries to reach the blog dash two page, but WordPress tells it to redirect to the blog page. So now anytime you try to type in blog-2 into your browser or it's a link or whatever, it will always redirect to just blog. My name is Robert and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. Whoosh!